Ottawa's new CFL team finally unveiled its logo and team name. It happened just hours ago at an event for 3,000 of its season ticket holders. Ashley Burke just got back from the Ernst & Young Centre and joins me now live. Ashley. Well, Tiffany, the team confirmed what we've already known for months, finally putting all the rumours and speculation to bed. With great pomp and fanfare, Ottawa's new CFL team revealed the worst-kept secret in the city and maybe the entire football league. We are Red Blacks. It's no big surprise. Football fans speculated that name for months. They even got a peek of this logo last week after it leaked online. It's red, blacks. Like, what the heck does it mean? It's, it's some corporate guy probably with suits thinking that that's a good name. I don't find it snappy enough. Like, it doesn't sort of hit you. I got used to it a little bit, so it was kind of, you're already prepared, so it's... It's a good name, I think. The team's president says all the rumors and media leaks weren't part of his marketing plan, but it's paying off. I've heard a lot of people say, I didn't like it at first, but it's growing on me. So I hope there's a lot of that going on. The name is a tribute to the two colors splashed on every major Ottawa team's jersey. The Rough Riders wore it, so do the Ottawa Senators. The Ottawa Red Blacks. The new logo features an R in front of a circular saw like the blades that cut timber along the upper Ottawa River. The R, a throwback to the team's former names, the Renegades and Rough Riders. Unbelievable. Scott. CFL it's legends great. that once wore that R great. so proudly support Thank the new identity. The important thing to me is it's Ottawa. It's Ottawa. Ottawa, the team. And half the time you hear, well, Ottawa's playing Toronto. You don't hear that the Red Blacks are playing the Argonauts. So. Having played for Syracuse Orange, what's the, you know... Why not uh, double trouble, as I say, two, two of the best colors. Whether football fans love or hate the name, merchandise is already flying off the shelves. Now the team's president says that he's hoping more people warm up to the name by the time that the Red Blacks kick off at the newly renovated stadium at Lansdowne Park in the summer of 2014. Tiffany. Thanks, Ashley.